Hey guys, it's me Brian from Echo and USA, and in this video it's for my friend Austin Howe. He said, how do you take off the Delta Star off a Echo One Platinum? Well, I'm going to go ahead and make a video for that, and also the other um, Delta Star, Delta Rings for the old school Echo Ones, where it's like a TM, Tokyo Marui style. Then the newer version, which is like the Delta Star, which is also, this would work for the Classic Army as well. And then also the Echo One um, Platinum, which should also work for a VFC. So I'm gonna explain in the video. The tools I will need would be the AR wrench. I'll use this part or this. And also this would be used for the castle nut on the stock buffer tube. Links will be in below for this. And also I'll be using a AR upper, um, basically a clamp for the upper. You put this in the vise, and then you have room to torque on there and it's good. I might need a heating gun if there is glue on the delta ring. Let me go ahead and get started. Oh, and also a table mounted vise. Let me go ahead and get started and show you guys the steps. Let me get started with the old school Marui style. How you can tell it's a Marui style is you have two tabs like a kid's aspirin. You can either, well this one's loose, it's from the boneyard, and it just hand tighten. Um, you'll need a pair of channel locks or pliers, and it's never on there too tight, and you just loosen, and nothing crazy. Very simple. And like that. You don't need to tighten it too hard. Okay, and that's very simple. And to put it back, you line up the notches, and like that. Very simple. As you can see, the notches just line it up. Off, on, good. Okay, put that aside. No need to look at that. Okay, now for the, the newer style, it has like the Delta Star which is a star compared to the, the nubs. You can use a pair of pliers like this, but you're gonna have a bad time. If it's not on there, you can twist it off. But say if it's not, you will break those teeth. Okay, and also if you notice a little hole right there, that is for the fake gas tube to go through if needed. But to tighten this, as you see, it's really, it's not a secure fit. You can use an AR wrench, see how it's corresponding teeth for the platinum upper receiver. If you're saying, well, how do I take this off? Because you have the tube going through into the upper, so you can't just turn it off like the other one. So let me go ahead and show you. Use a block of wood. If you just start beating on your airsoft gun or wheel gun, you're gonna have problems. So let's first look at this. You have a screw here. Okay, let's first look at the parts. You have a screw here, pin, pin, pin for this. You have the set screws here to control your outer barrel depth, kind of like a Mad Bull outer barrel. Okay, let's get started. Loosen that one. You don't need to remove it. Just leave it in there. Okay. Then you look, these pins are almost all the way through. I'm gonna tap from this side, it's flat. And I'm gonna use a small punch pin, just a refurbished echo tool that broke off, and a small hammer. Tap, tap, okay, they're getting started. I'm gonna use a little smaller one, it's more like a needle. And punch it through. And I'm giving room for pin to go through and I'm supporting the barrel so I'm not damaging or, or bending. Okay. I'm supporting the barrel so it's good. And you're probably saying what's that hole for? Just... Okay. And it pops out. Ta -da. And so you don't have to worry about it flying off. Wiggle this forward. And off. Okay. Now, 
I can get to this. If I try using this tool, being that it's brand new, it won't come off. It won't, I'm just telling you that. It's very tough. And if you are too rough, it's thin metal here, you can break it. So let me go ahead and move over to the vise and show you how to correctly remove this. Okay, okay, now I have my table vise. It's mounted to the table and I have basically the upper clamp and basically to make a sandwich, you have pressure zone, no pressure zone. And also this is used for real ARs. This happens to work for air suits. Close it, squish it, want it so it's secure, a little extra. Okay, get AR wrench and how the parts fit. And basically twist. So you want to go, you're facing this way, you want to go counterclockwise to come off. Now, if there is glue on here, like say if it's some other brand, um, you will need a heat gun to heat this up. If you do that, make sure you move the inner barrel so all you have is the metal components. Otherwise, you will melt your bucking and or hop-up unit. So, to put this back on, you'll want to... Oh, also, side note, make sure you are careful of the springs a little spring if it goes out past this little expansion clip or C clip you have to work it back in there manually you know take a long time okay put this back on see what I mean right there okay we'll put it back on here we go tighten Okay, good. It's on there now. So, up and off. Sweet, so secure and there's no bending, warping, or anything. It's perfect. Okay, hopefully this video has helped. Hope so. Okay, so I guess I will talk to you guys later. Make sure you guys subscribe and please share this video so people don't break their uppers, please. Thanks again for watching. Bye.